Altwork Signature Station Assembly Guide. Movement Core Unboxing. Unboxing the Movement Core. Step 1. Remove the clips, squeeze, and pull. Step 2. Open the box. Step 3. Remove the cardboard piece by piece. Step 4. Cut and remove the zip tie. Step 5. Remove the last piece of cardboard. Step 6. Lift the light side of the movement core, then lift the heavy side of the movement core. Now lift the entire movement core up and out of the box. Place it on a soft surface. Part 1. Movement Core and Base Assembly Step 1. Lift the movement core and slide the box underneath. Step 2. Tilt the base towards the movement core so the base holds align with the studs at the bottom of the movement core. Step 3. Screw the nuts on with your fingers and use the T-handle wrench to tighten. Step 4. Tighten the nuts on the base in a diagonal fashion, like you're installing a tire. Tighten all the nuts two times. Make sure all nuts are screwed on tightly. Step 5. Tilt the movement core up so it sits on top of the base. Part 2. Seat Assembly Step 1. Install the palm rest. Screw the bolts in with your fingers and use the hex key to tighten. Step 2. Remove the plastic cap and cut the zip ties. Step 3. Lift the seat up and slide onto the metal post. Slowly raise and lower the front of the seat to engage with the teeth on the post. Two people may be required for this step. Read instructions carefully. Step 4. Lift the seat cushion and screw in the bolt. First with your fingers, then with the hex key to tighten. Part 3. Remove shipping brace. Step 1. Remove the nut on the shipping brace closest to the rear of the station. Leave the bolt in place. Step 2. Remove the nut on the shipping brace closest to the front of the station. Leave the bolt in place. Step 3. Put pressure on the front end of the shipping brace to loosen bolts. Step 4. Remove the shipping brace. Part 4. Back and Headrest Assembly Step 1. Place the metal cover over the movement core. Push down firmly to make sure it is secure. The second person will guide the channel of the backrest onto the post. You will know that the post is completely engaged when you can see that the channel hole and the post hole are aligned. Step 2. Lift the backrest and guide the channel over the movement core post. Move backrest forward and back to align the channel on the post. If the seat back plastic has lowered, you will need to press the bottom of the plastic forward and slide the plastic to the highest position to get the hole in the plastic aligned with the bolt hole so you can see inside. Step 3. 
Insert the bolt into the backrest post. For the bolt to fully align, the person supporting the weight of the backrest will need to slowly lift the backrest up and down while the person with the wrench ensures that the bolt is turning freely. The bolt goes into a nylon lock halfway through tightening and more force will be needed to bottom the bolt. Step 4. Once the bolt is tightened, use the 3 8 inch hex key handle to fully tighten. Push down until the aluminum handle begins to bend or breaks off completely. Step 5. Install the plastic plug. Step 6. Lift the headrest and screw the two halves of coupling together by hand. Part 5. Desk installation. Step 1. Unscrew the desk mount. Step 2. Insert the desk mount into the desk arm. Make sure the washer stack is present. Step 3. Screw the knob onto the shaft of the desk mount. Step 4. Insert the bolts and position desk so the bolts line up with the holes. Step 5. Screw in the bolt, starting with the bolt closest to the desk arm. Make sure this bolt is screwed in all the way. Then screw in the second bolt. Once both bolts are screwed in, tighten each of them starting with the bolt farthest from the center of the desk. Step 6. Pass the wire through the loop and insert. Part 6. Monitor Arm Installation Step 1. Remove the bolt from the movement core. Step 2. Remove the magnetic disc on the right side of the arm by touching the quarter inch hex key to the disc. Then remove the bolt. Step 3. Slide the grooves of the yoke over the keys on the two discs of the movement core arm. The monitor arm will slide straight down. Sometimes the monitor arm fits tight on the arm and will need to be wiggled side to side as it is firmly pushed down. Step 4. Reposition the clevis so it is tilted at a 45 degree angle towards the seat when tightened. Step 5. Insert the bolt and moderately tighten with the quarter inch hex key provided. Step 6. Replace the magnetic disc. Part 7. Cable installation. Step 1. Cut the zip tie holding the cables under the seat. Step 2. Route the AC monitor cord to the power strip. Step 3. Route the cord through the 2-inch hole in the base plate and plug into the power strip. Step 4. Plug the cables into their corresponding sockets.
Part 8, System Reset. Step 1, hold the minus button on the backrest recline button and the plus button on the stand up icon. Continue to hold these buttons until the station comes to a complete stop. Step 2. Test the circuit breaker. Step 3. Click the two cable retainers into place. Step 4. Fold or twist the excess cable length and zip tie them to the base plate of the e-tray. Zip ties over cable sock covers should be close to the bottom. Step 5. Install the back plate. Make sure the four posts are inside the cable tray. Desk Leveling. Before leveling the desk, install the monitor, as the weight of the monitor will affect the angle of the desk. Check to make sure the desk is level. Press the Home button on the keypad to ensure the station is in the correct position. The desk arm should be midway out, about 3 inches, and level. Then check to make sure the desk is level in two spots. Most desks come level. If yours is not level, keep watching for additional steps. Condition. Desk too low. Step 1. Turn desk over and unplug. Step 2. Loosen the keeper screw farthest from the desk arm by one full turn. Step 3. Loosen the keeper screw closest to the desk arm by one half turn. Step 4. Tighten the jack screw by one half turn. This will raise the outside edge of the desk by approximately 3 eighths inch. If less adjustment is needed, try a quarter turn instead. Step 5. Fully tighten the keeper screw closest to the desk arm. This is critical to do in order. Step 6. Fully tighten the keeper screw farthest from the desk arm. Step 7. Turn the desk back over and check level again. Condition, desk too high. Step one, turn desk over and unplug the cable. Step two, loosen the keeper screw farthest from the desk arm by one full turn. Step three, loosen the keeper screw closest to the desk arm by one half turn. Step four, loosen the jack screw by one half turn. This will drop the outside edge of the desk by approximately 3 eighths inch. If less adjustment is needed, try a quarter turn instead. Step 5. Fully tighten the keeper screw closest to the desk arm. It is critical that these steps are followed exactly as written. Step 6. Fully tighten the keeper screw farthest from the desk arm. Step 7. Turn the desk back over and check level again.